you know, it's that time of year again. No, I don't mean tax season. That's behind us. We are, you know, uh, beyond that now, but it's college application time. And you know what, if you're like most of us, you're seeing a lot of posts on social media with college acceptances. Hi, I'm Judy Heff, financial and lifestyle concierge. And one of the things that we've noticed is that FAFSA report can be overwhelming. There's just so many papers that you need to get in order. You need to have your bank statements, you need tax returns, you need your stock options. And so many of us, I know myself included way back when, I didn't fill out the, I didn't uh, contribute to those, five, excuse me, those 529s. I would just really wasn't that proactive. Maybe I just didn't have the money. I didn't get organized. So now it's like, what can I do? And I, a lot of our clients are asking, what can I do to prepare my kids for college? I just really don't have the money. And college, as we all know, is very expensive. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of a few highlights of what is available out there. And, you know, if you need help, we're here to help you. So the first and most important one is the FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid. And that's the one that's the most overwhelming. And that's something that you have to keep filling out every year. So I just want to give you a few tips. So save that, have it in a special file, maybe where you keep your tax returns so you won't lose it. You'll know it's there. And then there's some other things. There's grants, grants that don't need to be repaid. Those are really important too. So those are all available. You can fill those out and hope for the best. And then of course there's scholarships. Scholarships from the college are based on merit. Sometimes they're based on sports. So it really depends on what they are, but there's also scholarships that come from nonprofits and from some private foundations. So there, those are available too. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done, a lot of research that needs to go into this so that your child can have that experience and not get out of school with all these expensive high performance loans that need to be paid back. There's also work study programs. There's those federal work study programs that are really important. And the child can work part-time while they're in college and still get that money. And then there's other loans, loans that need to be paid back private and personal. And the other thing are other age, there's religious organizations that give loans or give scholarships or state and local community. There's military loans and there's all kinds of different things based on your religious or ethnic relationships. So reach out to us at Judith Hepton Associates. We are here to help and we can help you wade through the mire and muck so your child will have that experience and not come out of there inundated with lots of information, with lots of loans that need to be repaid. Judy at judithhep.com. I'd love to hear what you have to say, how you're wading through it. And if you need help, like I said before, reach out.